Hello everybody and welcome to Darkest Dungeon. In the previous episode, we went into the courtyard for the first time with the Crimson Court DLC and we had a rather difficult time. Apparently I got pretty lucky with a few different various aspects of what went down, especially the crocodile fight. Apparently using Mars to push the crocodile back permanently every turn. I thought it was a bad thing, but apparently it turned out to be the thing that saved my life. One of the moves the crocodile can do can only be done up front and it is a really, really heavy damage move. So I'm very glad that I decided to do that and that was kind of my only option because it worked out for the better. And we do have two new people to introduce this episode. So let's get into the estate and get right into that. Here we are in the cursed estate and our first new character is the Scarecrow which is a COM, a Colors of Madness type character that's got some really unique things about it. It's kind of got a bit of healing to it and a bit of other stuff and this is going to be Fragment and this is a backstory by Cell. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited to use this class. Um, like I said, it's got some cool healing stuff. Unfortunately, we don't actually have the um, the healing skill on. Actually, no, we're level four, aren't we? So we can select whatever healing skills we want. Uh, but yeah, going to be really, really fun to use um, Fragment here. But I'll get into the backstory now. Whether it be by chance, fear, or some form of twisted luck, it just so happens that the one uh, that one of the thralls of the color gained sentience. That creature, a fragment of a far, far greater power, began to slowly awaken to consciousness. Perhaps the merging of a human soul to something made of fresh organic matter had an effect on its mind. Regardless of its origin, the Scarecrow innately knew there was something wrong about what its former masters were doing to the land. It could not remember its name, so it was named after what it was. A piece of a vast pool of power. A fragment. Awesome backstory, absolutely love that. And then we also have ourself a Ronin, uh, which we've actually had for a few weeks now, but we're only just getting to the backstory of now. So let's find our Ronin here really quickly. Um, of course, Kronos was our original Ronin. He unfortunately died very, very early on. Um, he, he met his bitter end very early on, but we have a new Ronin now. Um, and this is Jack. Jack the Ronin. And this is a backstory by the same person that wrote a backstory for Kronos, Sophril. Um, so let's get into this now. Life isn't always cupcakes and rainbows, especially for Jack. Born in the slums in a low-class family, he had to struggle a lot just to get by, and with no help from a father figure and his mother passing away soon after he had turned an adult, he had to support his siblings. On the way home from his underpaying job at the market, he stops by for food and hands it out to the needy because that's what his mother had always taught him. Even though he barely had enough to scrape by, he kept doing this every day. This act of generosity had moved a Ronin who was assigned to the nearby post. That Ronin would befriend Jack and taught him to be a swordsman where he would pay and it would pay immensely more than his previous job. Jack would remember this favour for the rest of his life, and soon after they were both enrolled in the highest rank of the guards. Rumour had circulated of a Ronin's disappearance though, and Jack's heart was broken by this news. Searches for him had stumbled upon the darkest dungeon, where he was last spotted. In a moment of excitement, Jack rushed towards to finally reunite him with, with him. Or so he thought. So he actually knew Kronos, and he's going to get here to find out that unfortunately... It's not always so simple, and he isn't going to get he isn't going to get to meet the person he wants to meet. So it is uh, it is very much very much a sad story here. But I'm ready to I'm ready to play as this guy. He's gonna be really fun to re rebuild back into our story here. Uh, okay, there's two two or three more things I want to go over before we get into the episode properly as well. We have a bunch of uh, backstories today, one of which I actually missed off from the previous episode, so I do apologize about that. And also, I'm going to put it on screen now, if I remember. I hope I do. There's a picture that um, TEA drew of the fight with a crocodile and Mars landing the final hit. Our, um, uh, our... Fury, Mars, uh, landing the final hit, and he drew a picture of it, and it's just, it's amazing. It's such good art. I'm really, really happy with it. And any other people that really want to draw any art for the series, please, please do. I always love seeing it. It's always exciting to see people draw some art of uh, of this fantastic series. But yeah, we'll get on to the first, um, the first diary entry that I missed from last week, and this is another one from TEA, and this is from Morgana, the Omen Seeker, just after returning home. In my most recent expedition, mainly trying to acquire some relics, I can't, I can't inspects alongside those other two 
Oh, sorry. Um, mainly trying to acquire some relics I can inspect alongside those other two. We fought against some suit of armor, moving on its own with a changing weapon. I cut it down, hailing my entire belt of axes at it and wearing my whip out. It crumbled eventually, but not before wreaking havoc on all of us. In a moment of vulnerability, as Ryan was desperately trying to mend us, it stabbed th th straight through my chest, narrowly, narrowly missing my heart. So close, in fact, that the local surgeon had, made, had to make sure that it had been sliced into at all. This didn't stop me. I think it was too, uh, too focused on tearing into the armor to know how badly I was wounded. The doctor recommends rest, and lots of it, and I agree. I'm cut up to hell. And that's Ermin, the Ermin Seeker, who actually survived. Morgana survived a death blow against that thing. It was very, very lucky. We had some, some very scary times against that. Very scary times indeed. We do have a bunch of other diary entries to get through throughout this episode. But first of all, we've got to decide what we want to do. Also, people did suggest that I go over to here and use my blueprint, my newly acquired blueprint, on one of these things. And the one I've decided to go for is um, this one here. Torchlight is more beneficial. We're still a ways off the amount of crests we need. Um, we're going to need quite a few to get to that. But apparently this is very, very important for me, especially since I'm a player that uh, likes to keep my torchlight high. Also, we're probably going to want to... Um, we're probably going to want to get one of the ones over here, uh, this one. Two bottles of Blood Brood each week, which is going to really help us out, especially considering all regions will now experience a growing infection. It's definitely going to be something that we want to see. So let's get in here and see what we have available and what we want to do. It's probably a good idea for us to go for a boss this time around, so let's see what we have available here. Uh, we have the Hag available. Um, we could go with the Hag uh, Pit Fighter. Ooh, my God. Extra accuracy, extra crit, extra scout, extra chance to monster surprise. That's amazing. Holy hell. Got a butcher thing here, which unfortunately isn't too good for us, and an air thing, which is all right. But that's really good. Um, we've got clearance. Ooh, that's very good as well, actually. Very, very good. Uh, we have this here. 40% damage to stonework. I don't know what stonework is. Um... I think we're going to go for the uh, for the hag, you know. Uh, that, that seems really, really good. So, of course, we're going to always be bringing Sixth with, with us against the hag here. Uh, so let's let's bring him along for the ride. Sixth is always going to be here. And let's set him up with... Um, let's set him up with this, shall we? So, where, where are we looking here? I need to go to class specifics, don't I? There you go. We're always going to be setting him up with... Oh, it's not a class specific, is it? It's just one of these. Um, Which one is it? This one here. Always want to set him up with that because it's just super, super, super good. Um, And we'll, we'll, we'll decide on the next thing in a moment once we decided who else is coming with us here. Um, I think we probably want to bring our Vestal with us here, Annie. Annie's doing pretty damn good here um and she has some crazy ability to heal now so we'll bring her along for the ride and she can take on both this here which is 33 percent extra healing skills with a minus 10 percent to stress and then she can take this as well with a plus 33 healing skill with a minus 15 to stress she is going to be absolutely incredible. <laughs> absolutely incredible. It's it's kind of crazy. Kind of crazy how much healing she's going to do, actually. Um, we also have this as well. I didn't realize we had a term of holy healing alongside that. And we got one of the Crimson Core Trinkets here as well. That's probably not going to use that on her now. But she is going to be fantastic. Absolutely fantastic here. Uh, let's do a little bit of research before we decide on the other two group members uh, who we're going to bring. So I'll be back in just a moment once I've done a little bit of research on the hag. Okay, I think I've got a good group together here. I'm bringing um, Felfa. She's the only level four that's coming with us. Uh, bringing Manold, because we haven't bring... Um, sorry, not Manold. Um, Berthold. Manold is our uh, banished hunter. Um, Annie, of course, have a stell. And then Sixth as our he he has for one he's good but for two he has to come along because this is a big part of his story so we really want him to to join us so let's uh let's trink it up see what people are going to be using so her crit is at eight do we want to lower the crit but increase her base damage that's the question here or do, like i think i think upping your crit 
is pretty pretty important so we're gonna up that um quite a lot there then for you we could up your crit by a good amount or we could do the the whole thing that we've been doing recently if we go and take a look actually the hag um get back to the page i was on the hag i think is um is it is it beast it's just human um and the enemies in that area are also a lot a lot of them are human as well aren't they uh where does she preside in the wield the wield also has a lot of humans doesn't it human 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 yeah it has a lot of humans and eldritch so what we could do here is we could go with damage versus human and then we we'll take on where's the other one the other the other big damaging one because she's always going to be in position one i think we just lower a crit and go with that and go with some really really high damage i think that's going to be a really good way to play her right now um Bethold, he does have some uh, class specific trinkets so let's take a look at that he has this one here which is crazy so basically what this is going to do is it's going to increase his repose damage accuracy and crit and on a repose hit he is going to bleed so all of that's fantastic for him uh, and there's a few other things we could put on him that could be pretty useful let's have a little look around see what would be best maybe um we could go with slime jar just for that easy healing that's always a good one to go for i think um slime jar is pretty darn reliable or we could go with something like this which is gonna lower his speed but it's gonna quite massively up his damage i think because of that extra crit and everything. No, I think I think we play it safe though, and we go with uh, the slime jar. The slime jar is gonna be better. Of course, you're already taken care of. And I think that's everyone in a really good position here. This should should lead to a pretty good situation. Like everyone's relatively high maximum HP. Let's just take a look here. We've got um, this one here. Severe mood swings can be a problem. Uh, can be a little bit of a problem. Experience religious visions and delusions can be a problem too. Um, distant prone to investigate the dark arts can be annoying that minus two speed isn't great meek i think i think pretty much all of this is fine we should be okay here and i think this is a pretty good group to go and take on the uh the hag here where is the hag there you go and we're going to be getting these lucky braces which sound really 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 strong so let's uh let's jump on in here shall we we're going to be taking full food uh four of them and then four of everything else we as you can see as well i spent a lot of money uh, you might be wondering where all of that went i actually spent most of it on upgrading this group to make sure everyone was up to scratch um we'll bring ourselves. do you know what i'll bring them all i'll bring them all what the hell I'll bring them all. Uh, but yeah, so this is a pretty darn good group. I'm excited to, to try these guys out. So let's get on in there and see how these guys perform. I think... Let me just check. I think you can hit from position three, can't you? Yeah, you can still use this from position three. So most of the time, he's not going to be able to use this. Um, so we might want to switch that out. We'll see how this goes on the first few missions. Just because he's going to get forced back a little bit. Everyone else being forced back a little bit isn't too big of a problem. Um, Iron Swan, it would be nice to be able to use that from any position. We'll end up trying this out and see how it goes, I think. We'll just see what, what ends up being the best course of action, really. Uh, so let's embark. See how this goes. Her knowledge of horticulturalism and its role in various arcane practices impressed me greatly. My licentious impulse gave way to a genuine professional respect, and together we began to plant, harvest, and brew. Ooh, interesting. Uh, we do have some more Dire Rangers here from TEA. This is first one from the local cartographer, the person that went out into the um, the courtyard for the first time. I made a mistake going up there without some protection. We managed to bust the lock on the gate and took a look around. All of a sudden, a shadow loomed over us both. A cloud of mosquitoes, nearly as big as dogs, warmed us. We were both bitten to hell, but my poor assistant Andy, bless him, took the brunt of it, and he died just as we got to the hamlet gates. And he kept complaining of being thirsty. Truth be told, I am too. And yet a long drink from the well has yet to make me any better. Interesting. We're going to actually read two here. I've uh, also got one from TA again. Uh, this one's for Manold. After returning to the Crimson Court quest. Today was simply terrifying. There were blood-sucking insects larger than, well, well, nearly the size of my head. 
Um, some were latched onto other parcels and they had chosen as hosts, puppeteering them and dissolving them to the burn. We fought a crocodile, huge and hideous, mutated with insect-like qualities. Yet the worst thing I saw was a man. He was cloaked, thank the lords, but I could see he was some kind of hybrid between human and insect. To what degree, I didn't and still do not want to know. He begged us for some blood, which we had a few vials of, so we gave one in return for a favour or some treasure. I hope nobody here ends up like that, giving in to inhuman desires and becoming some kind of monster. I've had to worry about that for far too long already. Oof. Absolutely chilling. I love these. I love these. Right, we got a, a dicky dicky straight away. This should be a very strong group, though. This should be a very strong group. I'm really hoping, especially considering we have a level four with us on a level three mission. That should that should mean that we're that we're dealing a lot more damage than than we otherwise think. Um, did get a nice scout there. Head up this way. What's trap disarm looking like? Of course, we'll trap disarm with you. I'm I'm guessing the traps get harder and harder to dis disarm the further quest you get in because this guy who's only got a nine percent normally has like a hundred and twenty percent disarm. This arm's normally way higher, especially in the wheel. He knows this place like the back of his hand. He's been out on this adventure many times, and yeah, we're, we're heading out with him again. I think he feels the need to prove himself somewhat. Nice bit of loot there. And he is doing a great job of it. He's been... He has been hurting things in a massive way. Right. So we, we start off with Bear to Prey here. Get a nice hit in the back line. Do you know what? We're going to do this and finish you off while we don't need to heal. It seems like a good idea. Activate Retribution here. Look at that crit already. And we activate Repose there that has just insane buffs. I love the Repose on this. Finish you off. Unfortunate dodge there. Felza didn't quite get it. But that Repose. 13 damage. That's that's where we're seeing it. That's a big, big crit there. But luckily, he went for the wrong target there. We're, we're going we're gonna to clear that bleed. Um, We're going to do that. And move on back. To the front of the party. And we're going to go for a heal here. Bear in mind, we have 66% improved healing here. So, there you go. 14 heals. And there's a nice kill straight off the bat. Lovely. That is exactly, exactly the sort of thing we want to see. Especially with that many crests get, got on there. I don't want to open that just because we might need the shovels. You never know. You never know. Spiders right off the bat here. I didn't actually check if we have the chance of running into any of the harder enemies right now. Um, let's try and reduce your stress a little bit and buff you up. Nice hit, Felther. Even with one hand, she is still an absolute beast in combat. Absolute beast. Nice crit. Oh, this is such a good group already. I'm already in love with this. Does this count as his kill? I don't know if it does. I don't, I don't think that counted, unfortunately. Okay. Boss is, of course, here. Should have a perfectly fine time getting to it. These guys are going to take 50% increased damage at the moment, so... I'm pretty happy about that. We'll strike you. You are going to be taking a lot of damage. So of course, they do have 50% prot, which is pretty crazy. We'll try and stun one of them out. Unfortunately, did resist it. I can activate that repose to the... It's great because it marks him too, which means that they're going to just keep on going after him. Apart from when they don't. Apart from when they don't, again, unfortunate on that blight there. There you go, the, the Savage Maul. Taking a lot of damage, but we've got a lot of health, so I'm fine with that. Um, yeah, let's strike you for the crit and the bleed. Lovely. And we'll strike you back, get you ready for combat. We should probably start with him up front, actually, um, considering he's got really high speed. Holy sh... 14 speed. That's insane. That's actually insane. Let's go for a group heal here. Good, good. Finish you off. Oh, Felther. That's a bad miss. Nice hit. Okay, missing things we shouldn't be missing here. We are taking quite a lot of blight on. We'll probably take on some more here. So let's uh, definitely get rid of that. So unfortunately, he did just debuff himself for a, a whole hell of a lot of stress. But that's okay. Um... I'm going to keep on doing party heals here, because they do heal for a lot. Okay, we really need to get rid of that bleed, uh, that blight, sorry. Let's let's um, get rid of that now. Finish you. This guy's still almost full health, but we've still got one round of repose left here. Do you know what? Let's just activate it again. 
Keep it up. I think it's really important to keep it up. And... Hmm... Do we, do we activate a block here? I don't think so. I think we just go for the cut. That's going to cause you to not quite die, so I'm going to go for another cut there. Ho oh, ho, 14 heals. That's lovely. That's lovely. We can defend as well, which is useful. And we have bolster here, which is uh, really nice for buffing. I think it buffs dodge, doesn't it? Yeah, plus eight dodge there. It's really nice. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get rid of that sixty percent extra stress. <laughs> so that's the severe mood swings that it was talking about. I think we can get positive bonuses as well, like here minus fifteen percent stress. So we just gotta be aware of when that happens. Oh, unfortunately that didn't kill, but this will. Awesome. Yeah, we might want to start with him up front actually, thinking about things. Open that up. Hey, that's a lot of valuables. Really like to see that. Okay, let's keep going, keep moving on. Yeah, we're, we're going to keep him up front. I think he's actually going to be pretty decent at uh, searching out and and watching for things in the in the front line anyways. Like, often he likes to defend the back line, but now he's going to uh, offer up his talents to help out the front line. Also means we can set up this a lot quicker. It doesn't take us an extra turn to set it up, or at least until the end of the turn. We, our accuracy has been pretty low here, unfortunately. We've been getting pretty unlucky with that. Um, what sort of stun chance do we have here? Unfortunately, very low. Let's just go for a kill then. Nice hit, Annie. Nice hit. Strike there. Ooh, we disease resisted though. Oh, I love that repost. It's doing such good work right now. The Grave Nibblers, they can be... Very annoying with their stuns. As shown. That should kill that one. Please don't spawn a maggot. Okay, just a body. It's fine. And she should be dead. Yeah. We did get dead meat, which does mean that this guy will unfortunately target us and probably get a good hit on us. But let's hope we can kill it before that becomes a reality. And indeed we did. Very nice. On a map of the area. What we like to see. Head down this way. You can disarm this trap coming up here, can't you? Very well done, Sixth. Very well done. Right, come on, Bethel. We do have we do have the ability to camp as well. If we take a look, we um we have our self-prevent nighttime ambush here, produce a totem. We can remove diseases and remove diseases from companions too. So if we have any diseases on any of these guys, I don't think we do actually. But if we did, oh, we do have one disease here, so that that could be quite useful. Uh, but we probably do want to camp before uh, before we get into the boss fight. So we'll probably camp in this room here. Open that up. A little bit of loot. You can chop this down, can't you? Check inside here. Getting decent supplies here. And heading to this room. Okay, ready for the boss fight. So, let's camp. So, we've got enough food to do this. We might as well get everyone's stress reduced. Um, let's go with the producer totem. Minus tw Oh, that's not a great totem. <laughs> I was really hoping for a combat-based totem there, and we just didn't get it. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. 25% um, damage... Ooh, okay. We'll definitely use that. It's really good on you. All companions. Ooh, that's also really good. Yeah, I think we'll just go for that, shall we? Okay, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Rest. Okay, I'm very happy with that. I just realized that Sick has a little bird in his head. Oh. He's used to sleeping in these trees. He knew, he knew a good spot. Imagine if you could just get rid of that. Um, that's kind of cool, but it's not going to do anything for us. I might as well just use it. Oh, it only affects one person as well. A shame. I kind of expected it to affect everyone. Right, we do have one of these guys that consumes the, the fungus. He's going to get that stress. Nice crit. Wow. I'm actually going to focus on this guy now. And he'll probably bleed to death next turn, won't he? Not quite. 
Oh, no. There you go, there you go. Right, let's get rid of that stress again. Okay, so we have to do this. We have to keep you in position one here. Actually, no, 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 no. Sorry, 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 sorry. You come back to the. You come back to here, because then you'll get pushed into position one after the first turn. This is going to be difficult. The the pot that she puts us in is is no joke. Let's uh let's get everyone going with all of this. Yeah, the pot that she puts you in is no joke. It's going to hurt us. Uh, we just got to be ready. We just got to be ready. Um, and we ha we've got to be ready to get people out of the pot as well. But here's the hag. That horrible, horrible woman that Sixth knows so well. Really? The Vestal in the pot straight? We have to get her out immediately. Unfortunately. Which we almost did in the first turn there. And activate Restribution on it. Didn't do too much damage to her at all. Very annoyingly though, she's obviously going to get pushed to the front here. So, because we don't need to yet, let's push her back. Are you kidding? Again? Okay, so this is going to be tough. And we only dealt 10 damage that time as well. Are you kidding? No. This is not good. This is not good, people. We're looking for that repose damage and that bleed. Good, good. I can't believe she did that straight away. And really, it only hits you. Okay, we're going to have to heal ourselves here. And she can't do Iron Swan because she's not in position one. Oh, she hit for 20 on a bleed, though. Wow. That was awesome. Okay, she is going down. I didn't realize how quick she's going down. Okay, we have to heal up here. Unfortunately, she can't heal herself. I think we can just forget about him in the pot for now. And just focus on damage. You're pretty much dead, right? One more bleed and you're dead. And sixth even gets the final blow. Awesome. Okay, Manold was close there. We got another blueprint. Great stuff. Awesome. Ooh, that was that was scary. That was scary. V uh, Annie getting put in the pot twice in a row there. That certainly wasn't what I was expecting to happen, and I was certainly worried about it. But that was a very successful little quest we went on there. Very successful indeed. And um, we got every one of the parties level four. Um, little, it's a little annoying to get uh, Annie to level 4 because I'd very much like to use her more but I have talked to some of the people that have been watching some of the viewers and people have agreed that we can take on a second Vestal and maybe um, maybe even a few more just to make it a little easier on ourselves because currently we really don't have enough healing uh, so let's check who, we've, who we're bringing on um, our cook is level 4 here I'm actually not going to bring on this level 4 cook unless the stuff is much much better here um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, especially because she's got crippled. I'm not taking her on simply because we need the level characters we have. <laughs> we really do. Um, Aaron, we could probably get a better Aaron. Mr. Spot, Vanguard, Competent. Yeah, I think that's probably better than the Aaron we currently have, who has all of these going on. So let's bring him on and switch over that name. And it'll save us some money as well here. So we got a new Aaron here. And you can go. Good, good. And we haven't got anyone else we want to take on here, have we? We do have a werewolf level 1, but I'm not taking on a level 1 at this point. I don't think that's a good idea for us. Uh, surgeon. Uh, very rare. We have a 20% extra bleed chance, extra damage versus humans. That's all positive, so that's really nice. Um, we have a sun ring. Extra damage and accuracy. That's pretty good. Um, extra scouting chance, extra monster surprise, but uh, more damage received. Plus 33 damage versus human, minus 33 stress, but a lot less virtue chance. We'll take that. Uh, the other ones I'm not too bothered about. But we just got some good stuff there, some really good stuff. Of course, we can't afford any of this right now. Uh, would be nice, but fortunately, we don't really have the choice to get any of that. Um, let's have a little look. See, do we have another mission we wanna we wanna head out on really quick? I think Trell and uh, and Dismas are back now. I'm not 100 percent sure on that. I'll have to check with Cell if they've come back from their quest yet. Let's let's see what we have available to us. Um, on attack, Cell stress plus three, 25 percent chance. 
Doesn't doesn't that look like we have too many things here that are too important for us to go uh, go at? Really, Duchess, extra healing skills and extra healing received, rather nice. A pertinent blood. We have this that we need to do at some point. The Duchess, friendly seal self gain crimson curse. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Uh, and we have this into um, into the the mill, into the farmstead. Interesting. Um, minus 100 health healing received from skills at death's door. On hit self. Strange. So she can't be healed from death's door. But on hit she stealths. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. And we would get 30 shards for that. I don't know if we want to go ahead and do that yet though. It's kind of difficult to say, isn't it? <sighs> kind of difficult to say. Um... Are there any other missions that we're looking at that'd be really good right now? Hmm. I don't really think there is, you know. I, I don't think there's another mission we want to go ahead with yet. We don't need to go ahead with any of these. I suppose we could go for this one here. Uh, what's our town event right now? Move out the way, Steam. I can't click on this. Uh... How do I check my town events? I can't right now. Uh, okay, so maybe, maybe we want to go on this one here. Uh, the Blighted Corpses. Let's have a look if we can get together a little team, shall we? Uh, so you guys can head back in the roster there. And let's have a little look, see who we want to bring out with us this time around. I really want to bring out our Blackguard here. Um, we haven't brought him out yet. Wait, putting just a Blackguard on is the medieval. Uh, but yeah, I want to bring him out. He has a pretty decent healing skill here. We suffer some of his own damage, but generally it's pretty useful. Uh, he's got his pulverize. What else does he have here? Let's let's have a look what else he has for his skills, shall we? So, blaring, uh, that's going to be a debuff to both accuracy and accuracy versus max, which is rather nice. Um, he has a death grip, which is going to be a pull, as well as... Uh, wow, that's that's... That's really good. We'll put that on. Um, then he has the Call of the Grave, which is going to clear enemy corpses. And then he has a Mobilized Self, but it buffs him with extra healing skills received and minus damage received. I'll take that as well. Let's try Let's try out this little build with him. Uh, that's going to be an interesting one to go for. Nina hasn't been out in a while. Maybe Nina can come out into the into the wield here and try a hand at some combat. She's She's been a... Uh, been missing it so let's uh let's kind of base her more like less on a move based build so we'll go with pick to the face the flashing daggers throwing daggers and we'll go with the um toxin trickery i think she's gonna be pretty darn useful with that we could go with smith and elise as a as an off healer i, I really don't know if this is the best way to go because their, their healing isn't great Honestly, their healing isn't great, so I'm not too sure about that one. We could go with our um, Enigma here, Unknown. Unknown's pretty useful. We'll take Unknown, actually, yeah. Let's take Unknown as our healer. Um, he can deal 4 to 6, and he can do do some stress reduction too, which is always nice. And then who are we going to bring in the, ba in the back line? We could bring Matthew, actually. Matthew also hasn't been out in a little while. Let's, uh, let's bring him along, and let's check on what we can do in terms of trinkets here. Do we have any... Um, Blackguard trinkets? I don't think we do, do we? So, we're going to want him to be hitting hard. So, he has a, a pretty good crit, uh, crit modifier as base. So, he's going to be taking on a little bit more stress from, in the wheel too. Let's have a little look what we want to do with him then. Let's just go with the, the, the pretty good damage. Um, pretty good damage way of doing things. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm, I'm never going to use that. Uh, I think we just picked that up actually. So, we'll put that there. And what's the other one that we want to put on him that's really good for dealing a bit of extra damage? We could go with the extra damage versus Eldritch or Human. Both of those would be pretty pretty useful. In fact, let's go with um, extra damage versus Eldritch and extra damage versus Human. Go for that. I think that's going to be better. Because there's some Eldritch Human out there. So having both of them on at once is going to be really good. We'll start by class restriction here because I'm getting a bit confused. Don't think Nina the Grave Robber has any class specific ones that I can think of. 
No, she doesn't. Uh, she's, of course, going to be dealing good damage as well. So we'll go with Focus Ring. And what else do you want? We'll give you the Slam Jar for that nice bit of healing there. Or we could up her crit even more. And I'm actually more tempted to do that, you know. Up her crit even more to a 17% chance. That's amazing. That's really good. You, of course, are taking on the uh, the double heals. The double heals. Um... Yeah, that's fine. The, the You've got pretty low HP, but you start with prop 40 because he's made of stone. So I don't mind that. And then for you, we're going to go with the accuracy and the slight amount of increased damage. And is there any way we can buff your bleed chance? Okay, we can get bleed chance from this here. Is there any other way? Or do we just want to go with Jar of Slime, actually? Let's have a little look around. I don't really use too many of my heads, actually, do I? A lot of them are very specific to scenarios. Uh, there's bleed resist there, but that's not really what we're looking for. I'm not really looking for bleed resist at all. We could go with straight up a lot of maximum HP. That would be nice. Let's go with this, shall we? We've got that debuff and bleed. Let's just check his skills as well, because we do have some cool debuffs there, like this one here. Um, we've got them there going on. We do have that very minor amount of stress heal. We can switch to that if need be, though. And I think this is a pretty decent group to head out. Uh, so let's um, let's get our provisions going. We'll take ourselves. Do you know what we'll take? All I always take. I'm always going to take all of these. You know, I've decided. Take four of them and four of everything else. Cool. I think that's pretty good. Let's embark, and we do have some more diary entries here. Again, we got more from TEA here. He has been a trooper at writing backstories here. This is for Will June, our heir. Today we struck down one of the necromancers building the army of the, of the undead in those ruins. They were strong and well prepared with incantations and rival spells frequently used, but some focus fire and them and their army soon fell. I recovered a book, and with one given to me by Sunasis, I was able to start rallying, uh, really piecing together what my father has really done. I had thought maybe he had just made a couple of mistakes, curiosity getting the better of him. But no, absolutely not. This was not simple curiosity. It was an obsession that had been growing for years, and I had never really noticed it. He is the origin of everything evil here. He created those monsters in the Warrens, empowered those aquatic devils in the curve, corrupted the forest, and left our mansion to the demons now inhabiting it, I'm sure. And here I am, his flesh and blood, following directly in his footsteps with these evil relics and unholy scripts. Here I am, forced to use it as, an, as, as otherwise I'm useless. It is of no concern to me. I will not make the same mistakes. I will fight fire with fire and strike down the terrible things my father brought to creation. It is no longer a matter of providing, of proving myself. Wow. Absolutely love that one. And then we have one more that I'll end off the episode with by me. Okay, let's jump in here. So we have our black guard here. We actually got two very unholy people with us here and a grave robber. I like to think that I like to think that Nina the grave robber and uh, the black guard allure have have like not something in common, but they've been chatting because she robs graves. He's an undead. This guy's just a statue. I, I also like to think that Enigma just doesn't speak to anyone. Like he just he just sort of nods and gestures. Even that though. Like, I don't even know if he can gesture. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I like to think that he does. Uh, he, he just kind of along for the ride and somehow agrees. But that face is very expressionless. Um, chance to hit. We'll hit both of them. Both get a bleed. Pick to the face. Easy crit. With extra dodge from that crit. And pulverize. Instant hit there. Instant hit there from Allure. Very nice to see. There's some very dastardly enemies that we could come across here. Of course, we didn't when we were on our way to the boss. But that could mean that this time well, we've got a higher likelihood. We do also have some dog treats with us. Mm, we took a trap there, unfortunately. Not the biggest amount of stress. We got 18 there, so we can deal with it. We can deal with it. We need to be searching everywhere as well, because of course we're having to use these to uh, complete the quest. Which means we've got to search every route unless we get good scouting. Oh, hello. This is um, a new enemy for us, the Crone. I think she's a stress dealer. So we'll actually fight her at the back line there straight away. 
You can take a hit. You can take a hit. Wow, Allure. With the insane damage there. Finish you off. Unknown. Why? That's a lot of stress there. That's a lot of stress. And Blight as well. Got a bite there for the heal. Okay, he gets two bites in a row. He's back to full health. That is not good for us. Here comes the darkness. Luckily, we dodged that. Um, Good chance to kill this. We got a crit, so it doesn't even matter. We killed it anyways. And the crone is all that's left. Going with that bite. Nice hits. Nice hits. One moment. Okay, I'm back. Apologies. Just have to take a phone call briefly. But we are moving on, and we are ready to go. Like I said, we're going to have to explore everywhere here. We've been getting some really hard hits with every character so far. I'm very happy to see that. Always nice to see. Okay. And I, I'm liking as well, we have a we have a pretty good group for, for self-healing. Oh, that's a be... I don't know if this is one of the custom backgrounds or if it's one of the default game ones, but that is just so picturesque and beautiful. I love that. It looks so nice. Anyways, enough gushing over the visuals of this game. Hello, Nina, Unknown, and Matthew are heading on. They are heading on into the depths. Oh, we got one of these things. Oh, thank God for the dodge. Them things are very beefy. Very beefy. So we're going to do pick to the face. One, because we keep getting crits with Nina. Two, it does lower its... Um, does lower its... Prot. Oh, no, sorry. It skips its prot. This is the one that lowers its prot. Um, probably don't even want to bother with that right now. We'll just go for the bite. It's going to set up enough bleed to kill eventually. I think we just focus fire on this thing, though. And we'll heal you for a little bit there. Nice nine healing. Good to see. Another smash to the head there. A big bonk and a cut. Bonk and a cut is what I like to see. Okay, we, do, we are a little bit out of space here. Portraits are super valuable, so I'm going to get rid of the dog treats. I am sorry, my my little doggy boy. I am sorry. The dog does have a name. I, just, I don't remember it right now. Okay, let's open this up. I'm really hoping that we, um, that we find a secret room this time around. That'd be super nice. Right. Another one of these guys. We, we did get the surprise here, though, so we have a good chance at getting everyone. I'm going to apply bleed to everything here. Just think it's going to be a good idea to do so. Death grip. We're going to increase our damage. We're going to lower your damage. Pick to the face, unfortunately, can't be used right now. Let's do that. Oh, another crit. This has been so good for us so far. So, so good. Um, yeah, let's, let's do that. Does decent damage, and it's almost down. It's going to do the rend, though. Ooh, that was a, hit, a big hit, but we resisted everything, so it's fine. Nice dodge. There you go. Nina has been an absolute trooper. Honestly, Nina's great. Hey, you've got some rubies as well. We definitely want to take those. Um, I'm going to get rid of... We used two shovels already. Uh, I'm going to get rid of our herbs for that, I think. I know that herbs can be useful in the wield, because they can get us extra food. I think for now, we'll get rid of them. Again, we're going to start off with this. Get bleed on everything. Um, you've got no pro. You've got props. We'll go for you. Being able to get through that prot is super valuable. I'm liking that he's kept this uh, this buff because we fought beforehand. It's really nice to see that. Uh, we're going to take a little bit of blight here, I think. Luckily, not on the person we were going to get it on originally. Um, hmm... So, I'm not exactly sure what's best for us to do here. I think we're just going to go for Pulverize and go for a straight hit. I like the way he's so chill when he stands back with his, with his, uh, this, this little scepter thing he has. He's just like, yep, yeah, I just smacked that guy over the head and pretty much killed him. I'm chill. I'm chill. Uh, we'll get rid of that real quick. Oh, we should have just done that really, shouldn't we? Oh, well. Finish you off. I love that the animation of that throw. It's so good. And I'm gonna I'm gonna heal myself up here. Oh, I can't heal myself. I can only heal other people. I'm gonna heal Nina, Nina then for the 14, and then um, heal you up. A two turn heal, two turn. Nice. That should kill him. Yes. Lovely. Oh, we found a tapestry as well. Oh my god. When we've got like no room for anything, we're finding all the best stuff. 
God damn it. <laughs> uh, Nina, you can take this, I think. Oh, actually, this is... Um, this is the, the one that's going to be giving us the thingy removal. Um, oh, yeah, we're definitely going to do it on her. 20% stress if Torch is in an inventory. Please be gone. Okay, good. That's that's really good. We got, we, we got a good one gone then. Obsessed with money. We don't want that. I'm surprised we haven't found any of the quest objectives yet. No! Force of will can overcome a failing body. Are you kidding me? Oh, so what happened there? What happened there is I, I moved forward and then my character stopped for some reason. So I clicked and as soon as I clicked, the screen came up to eat and everyone skipped eating, took damage and stress. That's not fair. <laughs> Obviously not what I intended to do in any way, shape or form. Here's our first one. We did get a surprise. This is bad. We're entering combat with, with lower health than we should have right now. Um... Yeah, this isn't great. So, can you do anything from here? No, you can't. So, we're going to stay back for now because we can actually do stuff from here. Nice kill. Nice bit of bleed applied. You're going to move forward because you can't really do anything from here. You're going to start healing everyone up. Only six, unfortunately. That stress does scare me. Okay. Okay. Nice, and we critted on the body as well to remove it. That's good. We're just going to have to keep applying the bleed here while we're up front. Oh, ho, ho, the huge crit. Huge crit, right? You're up to good health now, and I need to heal you. With only 10 health, I'm pretty scared, actually. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Let's heal ourselves up. Luckily, the healing goes a bit further with us. And that actually went okay, considering that little switcheroo. Oh, my God. Why are we getting so much stuff that we desperately need here? This is very annoying. Well, emeralds are better than onyxes, so... Let's get, let's get rid of them. Let's get rid of them. Considering we're going to be using one of these there as well, it's very annoying. Default party order, please. Bit of scouting's rather nice. Unfortunately... Still no secret room found. Uh, we'll move to this next room and then I think we'll camp there. How's everyone doing? 120%. That's what I like to see. Open that up. Oh, there we go. Vial of blood. That's great to find. Haven't found anything from the Crimson Court in a normal mission thus far, but I'm sure it'll happen soon enough. Uh, yeah, let's let's just check on our camping skills. Um, nothing there that's going to help us. Ooh, yes. I'm definitely going to go for 20% scouting chance. Create a fragment of power or a trinket for this class. Wow. Okay. Okay, I'm going to sleep anyways, even if we don't have a prevent nighttime ambush. Wow, look at him. He's huge. He's absolutely huge. And we're going to do... We're going to do this for the crazy scouting chance and then we're going to do this for even more scouting chance and then we've got six left um i think we're going to do this as well we got ourselves used to increase a hero's prot level wait was that does that only cost one okay it had six uses it doesn't cost six i thought it costed six um Self only, minus 20 stress. All companions, let's just do that, yeah. And we've got two left. Just do that then, shall we? We might get a nighttime ambush here. Luckily we didn't. But that, that, was, that was a very good camp there, and our scouting chances hit ludicrous levels of insanity. I, I, is there any way for us to check our scouting chance from here? I don't actually know if there is, but we just upped it by 50%. And I think it's I think that means it's a 75% chance now. So there's a good chance we could get a critical scout here and end up uh, getting ourselves a secret room, which is exactly what I'm hoping for. There's the scouting chance. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, please. I want a secret room so bad. Wait a minute. That's a quest location. I just realized <laughs> I was paying too much attention. So if I do this and use that on you, it's just 10% prop for a battle. Okay. Fair enough. 
I was hoping it produced a trinket. We didn't get we didn't get so lucky. Pack has a map inside. Oh, that scout chance was for nothing. No secret room. Terrible. Continue adventuring for a moment. I just want to see what lies and waits. Yeah, we can we can do this. We can go and get a little more treasure here. We don't have battles between anywhere, so let's do that. Lovely. And open that up. Shovel on there. And how much how much torches do we have left? Let's let's snuff the light out for this. Snuff the light out and try and get some extra treasure. Instant crit. Nice one, Nina. Absolutely love you, girl. Instant death. And wow. <laughs> back to back to back. That was beautiful. Why did I use a shovel on that? More blood. Like it. Emeralds. Like it. And one more battle to finish it out. Okay, this could be a difficult battle, but we did get the surprise. Um, let's just go for the bleed on everything to start off the battle. Take you out because we don't want that prop. No, I don't want no prop. Smack. I love, do you know, something that I've just noticed. One of the reasons I love this guy's animation, it reminds me of that bonk meme. Like, it looks so similar to that bonk meme with the dog being hit on the face. You should be pretty much dead, sir. Alright, Shriek, we're going to take on some stress before the end of this battle. We got Tinnitus right at the end of fight as well. Really, and we're going to miss now. As if we got Tinnitus right at the end of the fight here. And just spawn another one of these. Please go away, little bug. What does Tinnitus do? Wow, that's a lot of, that's a lot of stuff. Oh, okay, that's not too bad. Okay, that went really well. That went really, really well. Head back to town, shall we? Got a lot of gold there. Sadly, scouting chance didn't pay off. Everyone's still level 3, which is good. Black Plague? Oh my... That is horrible. we got to get rid of that immediately. So let's first off... Um, let's first off go in here, take everyone's trinkets off. But yeah, we want to be getting rid of that immediately. Come here, Matthew. We didn't up everyone's level here either, did we? Um, do you know what? Before I put you in there... Let's just make sure... Yeah, we should have done that before we did this. Uh, first three, and the healing one. Uh, you've got first one and last three. You're all good. You're all good. I want to make sure people are upgraded before I throw them away. Um, even if it costs us some trinkets. Get rid of that immediately. Right, let's check what we've got coming in. Um... Succubus, level 3. Librarian, level 3. Wait a minute. Um, librarian. Where's our librarian currently? Sunasis is right here. Blood recovery. I'm actually going to... Um, I'm actually going to take on this Sunasis, I think. Instead, because it's a lower ranking Sunasis. So she got, she's got flawed recovery and flawed release and slow recovery. And then she's got prone to stealing, has a mind of her own. Maybe not, actually. They're, they're pretty bad. Kleptomaniac and stuff is not good. We, we won't do that. I was going to take her because she's got less XP, which means we can use her for longer for ranking up. We do have a butcher back, um, but unfortunately, he's only level two. I really don't want to take on any level twos anymore. We won't take him back yet. Let's see what we've got here. Um, the Apostate Scrolls. So this this is on attack back one if position what if position one on friendly skill forward one friendly skill buff self extra damage if in position one. Interesting. Of course we get the Pit Fighters uh, Bracer just after doing that. Um, and there's nothing really else here that we desperately need, is there? No. 
Okay, I think that's a good point to end this episode off. I'm going to end it off with a diary entry that I wrote for Maggie the cook, the itinerant cook, this one here. Uh, this is a pretty long one. I, uh, I wrote a lot for this, and this is because she went out into the uh, courtyard for the first mission. Uh, like I said, this one's written by me. The local cartographer brought word of an unmapped marshland area near the Warrens. He said it looked like some sort of courtyard, and for some reason, he as an assistant went out to map the area alone, before even notifying the town. As I imagined, it did not end well, and he came back alone, looking pale and thirsty. And I've seen hunger and dehydration in every way imaginable, but this... This was different. He spoke of blood-sucking insects the size of dogs. We had to get out there and see what lied in wait. I brought together a group, three well-established but not yet proven warriors, and trust me, they proved themselves during this mission. What the cartographer spoke of was true. Blood-sucking beasts latched onto human corpses, but that wasn't the only thing we encountered. A crocodile with insectoid legs jumped out from the underbrush and scared me half to death. I'd feared my life a few times, but this felt much more real. I felt like this thing, if this thing would have got close, it would have chewed us up. But luckily, Mars, the mysterious warriors, a warrior I'd heard rumours about, kept the beast back, preventing it from ever getting close enough to strike. Ooh, I love that. I love writing that. I love writing diary entries in general. But yeah, here we are. We've got... This has been going pretty well. We're getting a lot of people up to level four and everything now. And we have been making our way through the bosses. Um, we can probably, probably get ourselves the... Um, the cartographer's camp, you know. Uh, so we're on 200 crests now. We get, it, we'd have to do some trading. Let's let's have a little look. Uh, so if we're on 199, if we traded all of these, 46 of these. So that would give us um, 268. Let's do it. 268, and then we'll trade in all of these. And then we'll trade in a few of these. There we go. And let's grab that, shall we? Torchlight is more beneficial. Construct the building. Great. Apparently, the benefits of torchlight, like when it, when I had torchlight is higher, is insane. Apparently, the benefits are huge. So it's really good idea to get that, even if it costs us pretty much everything. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode, and I will see you guys in the next one.